Okay, today I'm going to talk about associating a website to your YouTube channel. Now this is kind of a new feature and um, it's really nice. You can kind of brand yourself and then YouTube knows that your channel is uh, directly related to uh, your website. But there's a couple things you need to do before you can just associate a website with your channel and uh, here's how you do it. First off, you want to click your username and uh, depending on what layout of uh, YouTube you have, you're going to click on settings. You can also find settings in the tab up at the top, uh, usually in your video manager or other places uh, where you can see these top pages. Uh, once you're in settings, you're going to look at the far left. We have account settings and we also have channel settings. Feel free to look at these. These have some cool features, but one thing that you um, should try to do is associate a website with your channel and it says right here it's the last link associated website and when I click that uh, it basically tells you what it's going to do uh, tell us if your channel is associated with a website it'll help improve the quality of search results and verify your channel as, a f as the official representation of your brand on YouTube so letting YouTube know that you have a website associated uh, with your with this channel with your channel uh, is a great idea. So there's a couple things you need to do. I want to add my website in here, so I'm going to type it in. And then I'm going to click the Add button. Now here's what comes up next. Once you click Add, um, it's pending, the status is pending, and you need to verify that you own your own site. And so here's what Google does. Click Verify or excuse me, here's what YouTube does. Uh, well, first off, it's going to make me log in, so let me do that really quick. So, it once uh, I had to log in, so once it takes, once I logged in, it takes me here to Webmaster Central, and it says verify your ownership of this site. Here's the recommended method that they give you, and they give you a meta tag, and so you would copy this whole entire meta tag, put it on the site, and um, and then click verify. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it that way. Um, I found an easy I found a way that I think is easier, and it's under the tab here where it says alternate methods. Now alternate methods you can connect a couple ways. You can either do it by HTML file upload, Google Analytics, or domain name provider. Um, I like the file upload, so I'm gonna click that. And what it does is it gives you a file verification file that you save to your computer, and you actually upload it to your website. You can do it via FTP or any other method that you use, but I use FTP. Uh, and then I'm, and then it says click this link to confirm it and then click verify. So uh, what I need to do now is I need to go into my server, my cPanel, and I need to upload this file that I've downloaded and saved onto my computer. Okay, so I just uploaded my file to uh, via FTP to my uh, website and I'm going to confirm it right now by clicking this and there we go Google site verification boom 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 and click verify and once I click verify great job it's now verified I can use my webmaster tools on this site and that's it now my site is connected let's go back to YouTube take a look there we go it says success now that is the status so I now have uh, my website associated with this channel and uh, that's it so make sure you go out and do that it's a kind of hidden away but uh, it's a very important if you have any questions feel free to ask me